Hey, what's going on everybody? Nick Sapinaro here with another Divi Month in Review. I'm in the new home office, finally got a new haircut, and I'm feeling nice and fresh. This update is pretty exciting to me because there's a lot to report. Let's start off with the metrics. We've seen this month 15% growth in our master nodes, which is actually a 5% increase over the trend that we've been seeing in previous months. Usually you're seeing about a 10% growth month over month, but this month we're outpacing it quite significantly. I'm really encouraged by that, especially because Divi Pay signups also increased by about 18% this month. We have almost 10,000 people signed up for Divi Pay, which means we could potentially launch this wallet with 10,000 users right out of the gate. That's really, really incredible, and it's really just a testament to how amazing this community is and how it's grown so much over the past couple of months. In marketing news, we just hired a new CMO, CMO advisor. Her name's Zoe Cox. She's amazing. She has won all these crazy awards for marketing. She worked for huge companies like Samsung in the past. She has a lot of experience with the fintech side of things. She's getting ramped up into the crypto as well, and we're extremely excited to have her on board because she rounds out our entire marketing strategy for Divi Pay. As I mentioned in the last video, we also hired somebody, uh, Blockchain Velocity, out of Singapore to help with the Asian marketing strategy. And we just contracted with the Blockchain Center in New York City, which is actually run by Nick Spanos. Some of you might know Nick Spanos if you've been in the industry for a long time. If you don't, you have to look him up. He is a remarkable human being and has contributed an incredible amount to this space. Blockchain Center is actually going to help us with our Latin American strategy, as well as getting us involved with some of the events here in the United States. Again, I'm incredibly excited to have these guys on board because not only are they incredibly excited about Divi, they're willing to take Divi as partial payment. Another use case for this awesome, awesome coin. Let's talk about some of the media and events that happened this month. So I was on Bad Crypto Podcast talking about the new exchange listing, which I'll talk about in a moment. I did the Masari conference, even though I was super tired for that. <laughs> they had me on at like 9.30 at night uh, here in, in uh, California. It was awesome though, and I'm super grateful for the opportunity. Had a lot of people um, view my presentation, and a lot of people actually hit me up afterwards and um, have become part of the Divi community. So I'm really excited about Masari. We're still working through their application process. It's incredibly detailed, which is awesome because so many of these aggregators are just kind of shotgunning things at the wall. And Masari really, really cares about uh, the projects that they list on their website. Speaking of incredible aggregators and metric sites, Coin Genius's um, Collective Intelligence Summit, virtual summit, occurs this month. By the time this video is out, I'll have already engaged with that, but we'll probably have the videos out for you, recapping it uh, after this video comes out. So be on the watch for that. In exchange news, most of you know, if you've been following the project, that we were listed on BitHum Global. That was the big exchange that we've kind of been teasing over the past few weeks. BitHum Global establishes us on a very, very well-known exchange for the first time. And we didn't just pick a name out of a hat to get on BitHum Global. We really did go through quite an extensive process of research, understanding like how much liquidity is actually on these exchanges, how many real users there are, how they're using the exchange, as well as finding exchanges that have staking on exchange. It's really important for us to have the most um, accessibility for users, new users and old users alike, to come in and actually begin to participate in the Divi network in whichever way that they see fit. BitHum Global staking with Divi will launch soon and we'll have more information about that in the very near future. We did just launch as well PowerPiggy on BitTrue. Now BitTrue, the PowerPiggy kind of works differently than staking. BitTrue offers 7.3% interest on the amount of Divi that you allocate to your PowerPiggy. Now, a lot of people were like, oh, that's not very much because you can stake and get 30 or 40% uh, rate of return. That's if you have 10,000 Divi. That's if you know how to stake. That's if you can use your computer 24 seven and leave it running all the time. And that's if you even know that that's how staking works with Divi. A lot of the people on BitTrue are hearing about Divi for the first time. 
they don't necessarily want to take their coins off the exchange. They're just giving it a shot. It's a great way to in engage with new users and offer people who can't meet those requirements to stake a new opportunity to earn more Divi. It's awesome because every single day they offer up a 600,000 Divi power piggy. So up to 600,000 Divi can be put into the power piggy. It's been selling out every single day. Uh, I've checked it pretty much every day since it launched and it's literally sold out every single day. So I'm really encouraged by this initiative and we're really, really glad to be working with the amazing individuals at Bitrue. I did just also sign some papers with a smaller exchange called XBT Pro. XBT Pro is actually a Russian exchange that's also serving the Asian community. They came through one of our influencer ambassadors. I've had a few conversations with these guys and they seem like really stand-up guys. I'm really excited to be on the exchange. Not just because it's a new trading venue, but because they're also able to provide an over-the-counter trading desk for people. So offering an ability for people who want to make those bigger trades a safe and reliable way to actually do so, which in the past has not existed for Divi. So this is a new step forward for our project. We do have more exchange announcements and uh, strategy announcements and things like that coming. So definitely keep it locked on YouTube, Twitter, and all of the other social channels for more information in the very, very, very near future. <laughs> in development news, we did distribute a new core version, 1.1.2. Now, this is a core update. So if you're running Divi Desktop, you don't need to worry. We will issue an auto update to your desktop wallet with this new core version in the near future. If you're running a CLI wallet, and if you know what that means, definitely pay attention. I'm gonna put a link in the description to the GitHub. Um, you can also find it on our website, diviproject.org slash downloads, and download the latest CLI wallet. Um, this is a mandatory update, so in a few months, um, if you don't update to this version, your node will fork and all the rewards you win will be invalidated. So make sure that you are locked to all our channels. We'll keep announcing this as we get a little bit closer to the date. I think most people have already updated, but just so you know, 1.1.2 is a legitimate version that you should download. It also establishes a new testnet. So if you're a developer who wants to build solutions for Divi, you can now get on our new testnet. Works a lot better, a lot of improvements. It's really, really nice. Uh, we've been working towards this for a really long time. And if you want test Divi, we call it Tivi, uh, join our development community, and I'll put a link for that as well in the description so you can join there, ask one of our developers for some Tivi, and you will get some. While we're talking about updates, I want to take a moment to talk about security hygiene. We have come to the uh, awareness of some scammers and fishers out there. As our project grows, we're going to start seeing more and more of these shady individuals trying to come aboard and scam people into giving them their, your coins. Always, always, always be aware of what you're downloading, what you're clicking, and who's sending it. If it's not coming from an official Divi channel, that's our Divi Telegram announcements channel, our Twitter, Facebook, you know, all of our verified channels, and it's not found on our verified GitHub, you can see the check mark on our GitHub account, it's probably not real. You can always reach out to me in Telegram or on Twitter or wherever you want to reach out to me and ask, is this, is this real? I'd rather take two minutes to answer than you lose your coins because you just were mistaken on what you were downloading. I'd hate to see people lose money. There's really not much we can do about it. I mean, you can file a police report, FBI report and all that stuff, but tracking these guys down is next to impossible. And once it happens, it's kind of out of our hands. We don't want it to happen. Please, please, please. You know, don't use the same password for every single account. Don't keep your coins on the exchange. Back up your wallets, encrypt your wallets. Follow all the security hygiene practices that you should, and you will be safe. Uh, so I just wanted to take a minute to, to reiterate on that. I know that a lot of people know that already, but it is really important for those that don't. In further development news, the banking software is working really well. I'm actually able to send money uh, to my friends in Costa Rica, but right now it's only working in Costa Rica. We're still integrating with a, a couple of services that allow us to work outside of Costa Rica. Everything's written and ready to go. We're pretty much just waiting on the banks, I know, the banks, to finish up their end of the deal, um, and then we can issue um, accounts to people all over the world and send money to and from the United States or wherever you have 
friends and family. So we're really excited about that, but we are at the behest of the banks on this one. The mobile wallet's coming along really well as well. Uh, we actually took some time to refactor some of the core functionality over the past couple of weeks. It's working much, much better now. Some of our testers uh, have already gotten their hands on the older version. We found a lot of things that we were able to fix. We really want to deliver a product that is world-class and absolutely perfect when you get your hands on it. In my opinion, there's really no margin for error in this particular case. We've been hyping up this wallet for a really long time. If it comes out and flops, it's all my fault. I'm not gonna let that happen. So just please bear with us as we continue to improve upon and iterate upon this particular software. I promise when it comes out, you're gonna be absolutely thrilled. It already looks and feels amazing and it's gonna be that much better when you finally get your hands on it very, very soon. Just a few other things happened this month. Uh, Flitznode, it's an app that you can download on the iOS or Android store listed us. They're similar to Polis Pay where they have uh, gift cards and stuff like that within their wallet. I think you can deploy nodes, uh, master nodes as well. Pretty cool app. Check it out. You can buy Amazon gift cards and stuff like that with your Divi. It's a cool use case and a really, really fun app. Also want to talk to you guys a little bit about Siege Worlds. Some of you, if you follow very closely, have probably heard about Siege Worlds, but many of you probably haven't. So Siege Worlds is a massively multiplayer online role-playing game that is being created by a UK boutique development firm. It's really, really cool because basically each time you want to play uh, one of these hour-long games, you have to pay a little bit of crypto. And while you beat wave after wave of enemies with your clan, um, you win real crypto. And the more waves you beat in that hour, the higher the prize becomes while you're beating all these waves. It's really, really cool concept. I've already seen some of the early designs for some of the character models and stuff like that, and it's coming along really, really nice. Um, definitely check out SiegeWorlds.com, uh, and they have, also have a Twitter if you want to learn more. They also have this Siege crew. It's sort of like the Divi crew. If you want to earn extra crypto, you can join the Siege crew, help them promote their application um, and their Twitter and do micro tasks for additional earnings. Man, that was uh, quite the update. My mouth's dry, need some water. <laughs> but it was well worth it because the past couple of months have absolutely been mind boggling to me. I'm sure for a lot of you who've been around for a while are feeling the same way. I mean, the fact that we're now in the top 100, it, it's just, it is humbling. I mean, going from absolutely nothing, you know, in the low 500s by market cap last year to now being in the 70, 80 range, it, it's just absolutely astounding. And I can't thank you guys enough. That said, I feel like I still have so much to tell you guys. So much so that I'm going to, I'm going to, make a little promise to you guys. I know I don't usually do this, but this month of July, you're gonna get two updates. That's right, mid-month, I'm coming back for another update. I have so much coming down the pipeline right now that I don't think I can fit it all in one video next month. I'm pretty excited. Obviously, you should be too. Obviously, you should be following us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. YouTube and all the other social medias. Find us on DiviProject.org. Sign up for the wallet, wallet.DiviProject.org. Check all the links in the description below and I will see you mid-month. Woo! <laughs>